Good morning. I mean, whatever time you're seeing this, um, good afternoon, good night, whatever, uh, whatever time it is for you. Uh, I'm Gabby Oglesby, and um, I'm going to do a review on Prozac. Um, Prozac has recently, literally, changed my life. Um, for the last, I've had some like stuff happened to me throughout my life that's definitely caused some issues. I had a severely um, traumatic thing happen to me, um, which I can explain later in another video if anyone's interested. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that for the last about 10 years, I have done all kinds of therapy. I've tried so many different medications. Some have worked kind of good. Some have held me over. Some have worked horribly. Um, but uh, yeah, I was um, I was on another medication, and my doctor and I thought that I was doing pretty good. Um, stable, like I was doing pretty. I was like stable, basically. And um, I was having some bad side effects to this other medication, so my psychiatrist and I decided we didn't want to put me on another one. Um, and uh, what ended up happening was I, I spiraled out really bad. Um, it was so bad, I couldn't function. Um, it, was, it was just horrible. So anyway, uh, my, my psychiatrist had been suggesting me to take Prozac for a while. I was so hesitant because the side effects of all the medications, I don't care which one it is, um, there's the gnarliest side effects. Um, and I just was like, I, it's just such a process to try new ones. And so... There's a lot of repercussions that come with that. So anyway, um, with uh, after I stopped taking that one medicine, which was Geodon, um, I stopped taking Geodon, and then I um, started taking Prozac finally because I had spiraled out so bad. I was like, okay, I actually need to do something, even though I was scared to try a new medicine again. Um, so I took the Prozac and I started on 10 milligrams, um, the 10 milligrams of Prozac, I, and I'm a very sensitive person, so literally like 90% of the time if I try new med, like I can feel it soon. Like, you know, some people don't start to feel the effects for like two or three weeks after, like. I almost always can start feeling some something right away. Um, so I started on 10 milligrams and like I said, I was doing pretty bad at the time. Um, so I told my doctor within like two days that I wanted to bump it up to 20 milligrams. Normally with any medication, like I'm very slow to increase and you know, I just, I'm just very slow with the whole process. Um, but with Prozac, it was like I could feel something different, but I was like, dude, I need more. So I remember telling my psychiatrist, I was like, okay, let's bump me up to 20 milligrams. So he bumped me up to 20 milligrams and I instantly started noticing um, it was helping with my, at the time I was having severe panic attacks when I'd wake up, um, like completely paralyzed type of panic um, right up, right upon waking up, which is literally horrible um I was so depressed it was it would just be so hard for me to even get out of bed um and do anything so yeah um anyway so I with the 20 milligram increase I started noticing that the anxiety was lessening and I was like okay so I did that for maybe about a week and um I didn't have any I didn't have any side effects so far. Um, I was like, okay, this is cool. I'm having some more energy. I, um, 
I'm not feeling an increase in appetite, which is a huge thing for me. Um, I'm, I, I just felt more focused, less worried. It was just taking away my anxiety, which was so bizarre for me because I've never had a medication that really just like really at the core, like fixes my anxiety in a sense. Um, except for like taking a benzo, which those are not long-term solutions for anything and not something that you can be taking on a regular basis for me at least. Um, so anyway, it was just crazy. I noticed the anxiety starting to lessen and I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. So, um, I felt comfortable and I was like, all right, I'm ready to bump up the increase, the dosage again. So, um, cause I could still feel it, but, um, I wanted to increase again. So I increased to 30 milligrams. And at this time I noticed I started to get a little bit of a headache and it actually wasn't even a little bit. It was probably like three or four days into bumping up to the 30 milligrams. Um, I started noticing this, like just really intense, like headache. It was so painful. Um, I remember posting in the Prozac group on Facebook and I asked people like, hey, did you experience this too? Did, does it go away? And a few people were like, yes, I experienced this only for a week and then it stopped. Um, other people were like, the headaches were so bad I had to stop the medication. So I was like, all right, I'll give it another week and see. So I gave it a week. All the other stuff was good. Like my anxiety was even getting less my depression was lifting more, I was functioning more, I had more energy. Um, after about a week and a half, the headache stopped, so that was amazing. Um, probably about another two weeks later, um, I started feeling kind of depressed again, and I told my doctor, I was like, I think we need to bump me up to the 40 milligrams. So he bumped me up to the 40 milligrams, and um, I have now been on 40 milligrams for probably two months. I have not had to increase again. I don't even know if you can increase again from 40 milligrams, but it has literally changed my life. I only get anxiety if something really alarming happens. It's not like I have just like a baseline of anxiety at all times because that's what I what I was experiencing before just constant anxiety um, easily triggered all these things I mean I am definitely a sensitive person and I am easily triggered but now on Prozac I'm realizing that I have a lot more control I feel more normal like I feel more normal like I did before I had all of this trauma and I could just function freely work make choices take on more work if I wanted um what uh, I didn't have before the Prozac was like just I would have the want or need to do something but I didn't have the energy I didn't have the focus I didn't have like the mental capacity to do it and now I feel like I do um, obviously medication is different for everyone, so definitely, like, look up what works for you, talk to your doctor, um, definitely talk to your doctor, um, do your homework, look up on the forums, look up, you know, if you think you might have depression, like, join a depression support group, um, on Facebook, ask questions see what's worked for other people, just kind of get a feel for what's out there. Um, cause a lot of times what happens is you'll go into the doctor's appointment and they're like, okay, it sounds like you have depression. So let's just, it's, it's almost like they just go down the list, especially if you're not with a good psychiatrist. Um, they'll just be like, okay, like let's start out with this, with this initial medicine because we got to see like how you respond and then we can figure out if it works if it doesn't which next one to try so um <clears throat> anyway um yeah I with the Prozac like it's honestly changed my life probably I think I started this I started taking it like hmm, I think five months ago when I started um and it's just done serious like a wonder
pressures on me. Like I've, I've been able to take on more work. I've been able to hang out with my friends. Um, I'm super introverted and I feel like my trauma has kind of turned me into a different person over the last 10 years. Um, I need a lot more alone time. Um, I need to recharge sometimes. Sometimes I just being around a lot of people overwhelms me. So, you know, I still have that that I'm dealing with, but for the most part, like I have more control. My sleep has gotten a lot more regulated. Um, my appetite has been fine. Um, I even lost five pounds so far, not because of the medicine, because I've changed my eating habits, but you know, on other medications, it's almost like you don't have control. Like it's just, it takes over your appetite, your cravings, and it's just awful. It's awful. Um, like that happened to me on Abilify and I did another video on that on my channel. If you go look, um, at my other videos. Um, but anyways, I mean, I, with the Prozac, I have also done tons of therapy, like tons. And I know that at least for sure in the last two years, I started working with a trauma focused, um, therapist and he has done wonders for me. Um, he has helped me understand on like an educational level, physiological, neurobiological, like all kinds of different levels. Like what happens in your body when you have trauma? What happens in your brain when you're triggered? What are our emotions? Like all of these different things. And even though I've been seeing him for about two years, he would really help me understand, um, understand what was going on and kind of understand uh, different things that were maybe going on in my body because of what I've been through. Um, but there's, you know, different levels of healing. You have your healing, <clears throat> you know, you have like your logical mind, your emotional mind, then you have your biological responses. And it's just like, I feel like a lot of the therapy was helping me logically understand and get a better grip on things. Um, but internally, like biologically, my body would still have really intense responses. Like, you know, sometimes my anxiety would just be triggered so bad in my body and it wouldn't go away and it would be paralyzing. Um, anyway, so my point is that my, like, all the mental health professionals that I work with, I told them like, wow, Prozac, Prozac, Prozac. And they're like, Gabby, yes, Prozac might be working for you, but you have also done hardcore work. Like you have been putting in the work. So with all the knowledge that I have, with all the work that I've been doing, all the different types of therapies, um, combined with the Prozac kind of lessening my symptoms, like the anxiety and the depression, it's been like helping me like things are just clicking like it's all making sense I'm putting these different pieces together um noticing like my inner child and my responses and how I'm triggered and and like my behaviors and stuff um it just feels a lot easier to problem solve with Prozac it's almost like it's just it's helping me biologically and it's also helping me um with like my emotional responses. I have more access to my logical mind, which is, you know, where I would prefer to be 90% of the time. Um, and yeah, so anyway, I've, I'm in the Prozac Facebook group. There are people that are like, Prozac did not work for me. It works differently for everyone. I have friends that say, Prozac made them completely lethargic and have all the complete opposite effects that it has had on me. Um, but there's a chance that it could work really well for you. I know it's scary taking new medications. Trust me. Um, please join like support groups, talk to people, like do research. Um, absolutely. Like I am not a mental health person.
professional. I'm just speaking from my experience um, as someone that's basically a patient. I am a mental health advocate. I do a lot of uh, research on this kind of stuff and I'm working towards um, being a professional in this space, but you know, I'm not a professional. So just take my experience as just like a testimonial and make sure you take you know the advice from your mental health professionals um, first and foremost. Um, thank you for watching. I hope I covered everything. Um, definitely let me know if you have any questions in the comments.